Believe me. And in this mountain, near the top, there was a cave. And in this cave, there lay coiled a white snake. We were really excited to get the Seattle premiere of The White Snake, which is based on an ancient Chinese folktale about this magical snake spirit who decides to venture into the human world to experience what that's like. And so she decided she should study. Study the way of the cow to find enlightenment. <laughs> Um, transforming herself into a beautiful young maiden and uh, in the course of the plot she falls in love with a human and it's sort of the conflict that arises from that. Well then, I was about to hire a boat to hurry back across the lake. Oh, we won't trouble you any further. Uh, no trouble. Maybe we should have with you. In the show, I play the white snake. Her, her friend Greeny uh, eventually convinces her to like, hey, let's go down to the world and let's see the world and that's part of our cultivation, don't you think? There's music and fine food and wine. There's all sorts of people and commerce and beautiful sights to see. White Snake gets really curious and she's like, you know what, let's go, all right. And so then she ventures off into the world of mortals and um, she meets Xu Shan, who she falls in love with for the first time. This is like the first human she's met, and they fall in love. When the host and the guests enter through different doors, the guest comes on the stage through S, or the host enters through H. They're to greet each other at C. They then move in complementary circles, circumnavigating point C until they come to point D, where they again exchange greetings. The host asking the guest to take A, the seat of honor. The guest modestly refusing. Finally, they proceed to take their seats. Well, the story is a Chinese fairy tale, like a love story between two people. So, uh, Master Xu, you are a man of your word, I see. Honorable lady, I, I thank you and... Oh, please don't stand on ceremony, sir. I hope you make yourself at home here and put yourself perfectly at ease. Well, the flow of the play with Xu Shen is that he's... Um, poor at first, and then he meets White Snake, falls in love, and gets married right away. And they just try to live their normal lives, but some trouble ensues, and she um, tries to keep her form as a human, but she's also a snake. Well, not even a little? A little bit? <laughs> or are you so very self evolved? <laughs> no. Greeny is like that best friend companion. I wouldn't say necessarily bad influence, but like someone that kind of like, just a big supporter. She acts as my go-between for a man I just met. Master Shu has something to ask you, my lady. Oh, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Miss, I wish to spend a lifetime of happiness together with you. I pray that you will not refuse me. And they just try to live their normal lives. I've heard it said that we fall most deeply in love when the other person seems to open a door to an entire world we have not known. For Xu Xian, though he didn't know it, Bai Sejin held the key to all the mystery and the shadows of the unseen world. And in both was an identical loneliness. That lifted this night for the first time in centuries. Mary Zimmerman sort of developed the show um, at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival um, six years ago. It was suggested to her by Bill Rausch, who is the artistic director there, and it played to, to huge um, praise and large audiences um, that season. But Mary's adaptation, of course, is, is very contemporary, very modern uh, in that regard in terms of that it's, it's totally understandable. I mean, an American audience coming to see it. And it was developed to be sort of a family-friendly piece, uh, not necessarily a, a kid show per se, because it's definitely appreciated by kids, but also adults love the story too. The way the grass looks when the sun is going down and all the riot of insects play. And so when we had the opportunity to do this show, I thought, well, there's no reason why we can't just cast the whole entire show with an Asian ensemble having done other productions uh, of equal or larger scale at our company with large Asian casts, I knew it was possible. And apparently we are the first company in the world to do this show with an all Asian American cast. In any case, it began to rain. 
I feel very fortunate in the design team that I was blessed with. They put in a lot of hours and a lot of blood, sweat and tears to make what happens on stage happen. And it, it is very simple, uh, simply staged. I think the piece is simple in that way in that it sort of makes people dazzle at the theatricality of the show and, and how a set of umbrellas can become a snake or some pieces of fabric can, can transform the, the setting completely is, is, is the magic of Mary Zimmerman and the magic of the show. Really, has there ever been anything so pretty? They pale next to you, my dear. You are the moon that makes the stars fade away. But are you truly well enough for this walking about? To be honest. It's been exactly one month since Dream Dragon was born. And the New Year Lantern Festival falling on the same day? So when uh, the audience sees and uh, leaves the show, I hope they leave with a sense of happiness and joy because um, there's a line at the end that like kind of just suits this play in general. Don't be afraid. It is impossible to die alone. So come see White Snake.